Hi folks, I'm Swahan on Android.com where we get <laughs> on Android every day. Anyway, I finally got hands on my Project Fee. I got it right here. Uh, let's go ahead and unbox it, guys. <laughs> So to use Project Fee, you'll need a phone like a Nexus 6. Actually, that's the only phone it'll work on. Uh, this phone does work on AT&T T-Mobile Sprint. I'm not sure about Verizon. Uh, but if you have one of these Nexus 6, or if you want to use Project Fee, you'll have to uh, spend some money on the Nexus 6. Anyway, let's go ahead and unbox it. It comes in this little envelope, padded envelope from FedEx. Uh, let me go ahead and uh, undo this. And I've got it right here inside. It says, let's connect. And it's got a green tape and project fee. It comes with a little business card. Um, not sure why it has a business card. Of course, you've got the SIM card right here. All right, right there. And on the card, it's actually a cutout so that you can cut out, I think. Oh, it's a little sticker you can take out. I'm gonna go ahead and put it on, place it on my Motorola here. There we go. That looks nice. Also, it comes with a nano SIM, of course, for the Nexus 6. Uh, I'm gonna go ahead and take this out, of course, and put these things aside. I don't need it. Let's go ahead and put it on our phone. And just like that, boom shakalaka. All right, I'm gonna go ahead and power it on. Now with Project Fee, I think you have to actually use a new number or you can use your Google Voice number. I actually ported my one of my main numbers back in the day, like a couple of years ago, to Google Voice. Um, so people can call that number. A lot of people ask me, how do you receive calls from all of these different numbers? So the short answer to that is I use Google Voice. I have one number that I give to people and Google Voice allows you to route to, I think up to five or six different phones. So I have a phone on AT&T. Verizon, T-Mobile, Sprint. I have two lines on Sprint. So all those six, five, six lines are all hooked up to one line. So whenever I get a call, it will call my first phone. If it's off, it's gonna call my next one, the next one, and the next one. That's why I like Google Voice. Let's go ahead and take a look. Uh, so I've got it booted here, and I'm gonna go ahead and turn off my Wi-Fi. And let me go ahead and turn off all my notifications because I haven't used this in a long time. Oh, right away, I have get LTE. Oh, that is really nice. And let's actually go ahead and look at the settings here. About phone, uh, status, and SIM status. And I've got, an, uh, I've got LTE. All right, it doesn't show my phone number. Let me just go ahead and call 411 and see what it does. Boom shakalaka, baby. That's why I have it for 411. I'm just... Please contact customer care for assistance. Message CA. Oh, what the fudge. So, out of the box, it doesn't work. So, maybe I have to download the project fee. And is my internet working? Okay, my internet's not working. Um, I'm not sure what's going on. Let me go ahead and see if there's an app called Project Fee. All right, so I'm going to go ahead and install Project Fee. Obviously, I think that's what it wants me to do. Sorry, guys, I didn't read up on anything. I just want to do this unboxing. So you get the idea how a regular consumer would unbox Project Fee. So I'm going to go ahead and open Project Fee. And it's activating. All right, it says Project Fee has been set up for account access only. This means you can use Project Fee app to manage your accounts and settings. Uh, Calling, texting, voicemail are not available via project fee on this device. Oh, that sucks. I think what happens is I'm actually running Cyanide L ROM and it's screwing it up, I guess. Uh, let me get started here. Transfer my number. All right, I'm going to go ahead and transfer my number from Google Voice. And something went wrong. Ah! This really sucks. That really sucks because uh, if I try to use a different number, it says your Google voice number will be released. No getting it back. But I want my number. So we're going to have to continue this another time. All right, guys, I took a quick break and I found out that uh, you can't actually run it on custom ROM. Um, so I'm going to reboot into recovery. Uh, there's actually a ROM you can get on uh, XDA. It's called Project Fee Stock Android 5.1.1. 
I'll have a link to that. Uh, but I'm gonna go ahead and install it uh, real quick here. Let's go install it and reboot. Like, what the fudge? How does I have to? All right, it's this one here, the Odex. And this is just basically Android 5.1.1 stock with root. Um, so I'll still be able to use uh, root. And you can see it's 5.1.1 project fee. Um, so grab this ROM if you're gonna activate it. I'm not sure if project fee works on any custom ROM, so we'll find out. Uh, but for right now, I need to just activate it. I'm not sure why Google made it so the project fee only works with the Nexus devices, but they probably designed the Nexus 6. I mean, they probably thought of this months ahead. Um, so that's probably why. And I think another reason is that uh, project fee, uh, for those of you who don't know, it actually works with T-Mobile and Sprint. Um, so this actually has uh, Sprint bands and does work with Sprint. So that could be why you may need a phone that works with T-Mobile and Sprint. And go ahead and reboot. You don't need to install G-Apps since this is, a, uh, this is a stock ROM. All right, I'm gonna go ahead and log in with my Google account that I used to sign up for Project Fee. So let me go ahead and do that real quick. Yes, it's working. Yeah, yeah. Boom shakalaka, boom shakalaka, baby. All right. All right, now it's working It right away. Uh, I didn't install Project Fee. It works out of the box. So you need a stock ROM or a ROM that supports it. <clears throat> and it says uh, the port has been initiated. And hopefully this will not take a uh, too long so for those of you with a custom rom that's not based on stock like cm12 uh exodus rom bliss pop uh dirty unicorns validus <laughs> i'm trying to remember all the custom rom names i know there's a bunch more uh, i can't think of that in my head oh euphoria rom is really good for the nexus 6 sort of straight up uh sort of straight up basic rom you can install <clears throat> Boom, that took me less than three minutes, so I'm happy. Uh, I'm gonna go ahead and continue. Next. Um, so just reload the uh, stock ROM, make a backup of your you know, custom ROM, and then just reload the stock ROM. Now I think this is only for activation. I think once you activate it, uh, it should work fine with custom ROMs. I'll definitely test it out, but for right now, I'm gonna stick with obviously stock ROM. Okay, uh, we're almost there. 420. Happy 420, guys. Uh, <laughs> right out, we did it. All right. Bring out the bong now. All right, who has it? Uh, Nexus 6 status and sim status. And I'm in CDMA. So I'm probably connected to Sprint's network right now for some reason. But I'm not getting any data. What the fudge? All right, let me go ahead and download Project Fee and find out what the hell's going on. Oh, I'm gonna go ahead and update it. And hopefully this will work. But I'm not getting any data. Uh, do, 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 do. All right, here we go, Project Fee. I'm gonna go ahead and open it. Uh, it wants me to update Google Play Services. So there's a lot of steps, even if you have stock ROM, uh, you're gonna have to update all the apps. I mean, it'll do it automatically eventually, but for me, I have to actually do it manually. So guys, um, this unboxing can help you kind of set up your project fee also. Okay, it says project fee updated. Let me go ahead and open the app. And it says I have to activate it again. What the fudge? All right, let me go ahead and try to activate. Okay. Completing activation. You won't have service for a few minutes, but you can still connect to Wi-Fi. So I'm just going to twiddle my thumbs and wait patiently. All right, it's done. It's actually using my Google Voice credits and it's done here, but I'm still not getting any bars for here. I'm going to go ahead and turn off Wi-Fi. Okay, moment of the truth. Let's see if this works. I'm going to go ahead and turn off my Wi-Fi and I'm on Fee Network. 
Wow, that's cool. So as, long, as soon as I turned off uh, Wi-Fi, it's going on LTE. Yeah. So I'm going to go ahead and download speed test real quick. Let's see what network it's, we're on. Uh, I'm guessing probably T-Mobile because I know, I'm not sure if I get any LTE signals in this room right here. This is a small room in my house. Sort of not the best location for a sprint, but we'll see. All right, download speeds seem to be kind of slow. Installed. All right, here we go. Project V LTE. This is going to be my first speed test. And let's see how much you get. We're on West Sacramento. It doesn't actually show you. Oh, it is on T-Mobile. You see that? So it's on T-Mobile. And I've got my OnePlus 2 that has AT&T and T-Mobile working on it. So let's actually do a quick comparison here. All right, guys. So I am on T-Mobile on my OnePlus 2. Uh, same center, West Sacramento, uh, 19, almost 19 megabits per second. So I would say it's about the same, but let me go ahead and run this on the other side here, uh, West Sacramento, and we should get pretty much around the same. Well, I'm getting much higher speeds. Um, it could also be the antennas, how they connect, uh, which radio tower I'm connected. But it's a lot faster uh, with fee, and that could actually have something to do with project fee in itself since a uh, project fee actually goes through uh, Google's VPN or something like that. So the speed test, sometimes when they go through VPN, uh, it's gonna get buffered and it's gonna show you higher speeds than actual speeds. So I'm actually not sure exactly what's going on, but I'm just glad I've got connected to project fee. Let's actually go and call one of my friends here. All right, we're gonna do a test call to my friend. He lives in Pennsylvania. And let's see if the calls work well. Um, so I've got full bars. Now it's switched to ACSPA plus. Hey, what's up, bro? Hey, what's going on, bro? What's, not much. Just, you know, I'm back at school. Can you uh? Study, study. Can you hear me well now? Yeah, yeah. What's up? No, I'm I'm testing this project fee. You're gonna be in my video. Yeah, so this is, I'm actually calling you with Project Fee. This is the Google's new uh, Project Fee thing. It's it's like uh, it's like T-Mobile, but they use T-Mobile and Sprint and they created their own network or something. But it's it's like 30 bucks a month. Pretty cool. That's crazy, bro. So you got like, you know, I guess it's very clear and, and you got good reception. Yeah, so calls are not dropping at all? Okay. Um, well, I, I got to finish this video, but uh, thanks for picking up the call. I'll call you later. Okay. Stay high on Android. High on Android. <laughs> All right, bud. So calls work really well, but for some reason I dropped to HSPA. I think that's because um, of the calls, but I got it switched right back to LTE. Now I think about it, I have the OnePlus 2 right here, which I'm using actually two SIM cards to get uh, LTE on both AT&T and T-Mobile. Now this one I actually tested out. I'll have actually a new video about the uh, dual SIM capability on OnePlus 2, which is really cool. Like if I go to an area here in SF Bear area where I drop uh, T-Mobile signals, it will automatically go on the 4G LTE on AT&T. So I really find that feature nice, but what the project fee actually does uh, it's sort of similar because it's using, I think, T-Mobile and Sprint. Later, maybe they'll add more carriers. Um, so where you're not getting T-Mobile good signals, uh, good signals on T-Mobile, you will get Sprint. It will automatically switch. So, so I think Project Fee is sort of like having two different lines on two different networks. Uh, but uh, you don't need to have two different cards or sign up for two different lines like I did here. I've got a line on AT&T and T-Mobile to actually have dual SIM on my phone and I have to have actual dual SIM. So very interesting stuff, but as far as I can tell, um, I can't tell that much because I just got this. Call seems to be working just fine. So I'll have a full review of this, but for those of you who are interested in Project Fee, um, definitely go sign up. It's actually pretty cheap. One of the cool things about 
uh, project fee is that you only pay for the data that you actually use. Now, if you work at a cubicle, like an office all day long and you have Wi-Fi all day long, you probably don't even use that much uh, 3G, 4G LTE data. In that case, this could save you a ton of money uh, it, over the course of the year because you only have to pay for the data you only use. So very interesting idea. Uh, I'll definitely test it out and see what networks I go on. Maybe it switches back and forth between Sprint and T-Mobile. Uh, I think that's what it's supposed to do. But if you live in the area where you don't get good T-Mobile and Sprint signals, Project Fee is probably not ready for you. Um, I can attest to it. T-Mobile is pretty good in SFA area. Sprint, a lot of times it drops to, to 3G. But with improved T-Mobile service, that might offset it. So this might actually work out perfect for those of you who want to save some money and you get either good signals with T-Mobile or Sprint. But if you get horrible signals with uh, T-Mobile or Sprint, maybe you live in the middle of Alaska or something, a project fee might not help you at all. Anyway, that was my unboxing and setup of the project fee. I hope this video helps you in setting up your project fee if you do get it. Anyway, getting kind of long. Thanks to you guys for watching this video. I have more stuff coming. Don't forget to hit that subscribe button, hit that like. I'll see you guys soon as always. I'll stay.